Scoping Review Step-by-step -step guide for beginners to conduct research. What is scoping review? Scoping reviews are designed to map the existing evidence and can be considered to be a precursor to systematic reviews. A scoping review is useful to map the literature on evolving or emerging topics and to identify gaps. It may be a step before undertaking research or conducting another type of review, such as a systematic review. Scoping reviews aim to map the key concepts within a research area and the types of evidence that is available. Whereas systematic reviews focus on a clearly defined question and usually identify the most relevant study types for inclusion in advance, scoping reviews are broader in their remit and may include a range of different types of study within the review. Search strategies for scoping reviews are determined by the time available and the specific scope of the topic area. They do not usually involve any type of quality assessment whereas studies within systematic reviews are critically appraised for quality and risk of bias. Conducting a scoping review. You may wish to conduct a scoping review for the following reasons. To indicate whether a full systematic review would be feasible or beneficial to identify gaps in knowledge on a specific topic to map the existing literature on a topic to better understand the types of research carried out within a topic to clarify concepts, definitions or terminology within a specific topic area. How do scoping reviews differ from systematic reviews? While many of the approaches to forming a comprehensive and systematic search strategy are similar across both types of review, the two methods have different purposes and aims. The aim of systematic reviews is to identify and synthesize all of the relevant evidence relevant to answering a specific question in order to make recommendations for policy or practice. The aim of a scoping review is to map the available evidence on a topic without following a process for assessing the quality of the studies included. Steps in scoping review. There are six steps in scoping review. Number one step of scoping review is to define the review objective and questions. Number two step of scoping review is to create the search strategy. Number three step of scoping review is to conduct the literature search. Number four step of scoping review is to select studies based on inclusion or exclusion criteria. Number five step of scoping review is to perform data extraction and interpret findings. And number six step of scoping review is to present findings. Sample flow diagram for the scoping review. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.